The Yankees led 4-2 going into the fourth inning, and uh, Aaron Boone made a couple of decisions. The first one he made was not to bring CC Sabathia out to get one more inning out of him. What did you think then? What do you think now? Well, I mean, it was a big question mark. CC had been laboring. Nothing was easy for him. Uh, you, you think you go to your bullpen, get a couple from Holder, and maybe get into your real good stuff. It didn't work out. I, I, I mean, the Yankees put up seven runs. This is on the pitching tonight. A couple shaky defensive plays, but... Uh, Remember, one game. Tomorrow's a big game, much more important than tonight now for the Yankees. All right, let's build on that fourth inning because the decision to take out CC did bring in Holder, as Paul just mentioned. And you mentioned it during the broadcast. He really stayed with Holder a long time. Yeah, I thought too long. Am I just to be honest? You know, I, obviously I'll be interested to see what Aaron Boone says afterwards. I, I just thought you got that game got away from you too quickly. Uh, you know, I understand taking CC out after three because he was at the end of the line anyway. His pitch count was high. He had, he, he was uh, laboring at that point. You know, Jonathan Holder giving up six runs without recording an out and allowing that to happen to me is questionable and that's something that certainly uh, should be asked of him after the game and I would have brought in a high leverage guy just to get out of that inning now if you're using Sessa that's fine you had to use Sessa you got to find a starter for Saturday but I thought more emphasis should have been put on getting out of that inning with either Chad Green sooner or maybe even David Robertson somebody else to get you out and it wasn't just with pitching with Holder it was a really unraveling Paul he made two bad defensive plays he let a runner just take off for second through to the wrong base when he had Jackie Bradley Jr. breaking from third. Well, you really felt the momentum of the whole stadium go on that Bradley play. And, you know, when you catch that ball, uh, uh, a one-hopper right back to you, it's, it's really a big break. You got an opportunity to get an out there without a run scoring. You know, you're taught in Little League to run at that front shoulder, make the out at third base. He made a bad decision. It happens, but it, it, it kind of imploded that whole inning. And, and the rest of the game, again, another sloppy game by the Yankees. It's hard to say uninspired. When you don't get good pitching, obviously, it's going to look like a real bad game but this is two games in a row that you do not put in the, in, in the time capsule and, and show kids in, in the year 2070. Yeah it just looked like the Red Sox had a better plan. It looked like they came into this game understanding what their game plan was going to be. They were going to run the bases. The Yankees did nothing to counter all those stolen bases. It seemed like they were really taking advantage of the Yankee pitching staff at, at some point and there was no pitch outs. And another thing too on the Yankee side when you're getting beat up like that there's no pitches inside. Now I'm not saying you throw at people or it's not like Bob Gibson days where you use the baseball as a weapon but nonetheless there's a lot of comfortable swings up and down that lineup and pitching inside off the plate pitching inside consistently knocking guys off the plate that's something that needs to be discussed on the pitching staff as well now obviously as Paul said it's one game but puts a lot of emphasis for tomorrow night for the Yankees and on Luis Severino you got to give yourself some length this is two starts in a row where Yankee pitchers did not get into the fourth inning well, there's, there's no doubt and Severino's had some outings that uh, a lot of people are wondering if something's wrong so uh, it would it would really shut a lot of people up if he has a great game tomorrow then you look forward to Saturday and see what's going to happen but your ace is on the mound tomorrow you look at it that way one game down out of four tomorrow is game two of this four game set at Fenway Bob all right fellas thank you let's take a look at our American League standings courtesy of Toyota where the Yankees we see have slid six and a half back of the Red Sox in the central Indians running away by 10 over the twins and out west the Astros have a five game lead over Seattle and Oakland just a few minutes ago Red Sox man Manager Alex Cora talked about his team's out.